Greetings, YouTube. I've said it many times in the past, I consider the Republican Party in America to be a terrorist organization. That is not a statement of hyperbole. I mean it literally. It is the most efficient terrorist organization that's ever existed because over the decades I've been alive, they have helped kill millions of Americans and drive millions more into poverty, making sure that they will never have generational wealth, and making sure that they will never be politically a threat to the billionaires at the top. Um, but I still think they should remember that we still outnumber them. Yeah, don't forget that. Um, but one of the things that the Republicans are famous for is bitching about what is going on in the world and blaming it on the Democrats, because remember, in the U.S., we have a two-party system, and then doing nothing for about it themselves. Um, in fact, the only laws they will ever pass will be ones that strip people of rights and pass more money from your pocket into the pockets of billionaires. But they will stand in front of a camera and bitch about gas prices, even though they voted against a bill that would have helped deal with gas prices. They will declare the, how the, the Democrats have failed to feed the children of America while they themselves have voted against a bill that would have helped get kids formula more efficiently and effectively. And again, boldface, just say it's the Democrats' fault. Um, but at this point in time, the most egregious act I can think of is the whole debate about firearms in America. The majority of Americans want change. We want firearm restrictions. Uh, we quibble about which restrictions. Um, and a lot of people say assault bans. And I'm very specific when I make my, my statements about that. I think it should be all semi-automatic firearms. A-L-L. -L, all. All pistols. All shotguns. All rifles. All. That'll help. Because we know it helped when there was a ban in the past. Because when the ban was allowed to expire, suddenly... The mass shootings shut up. But right now, we're seeing mass shootings at, I mean, even in America, the rate of mass shootings has just been unbelievable. And we've seen elders being gunned down in grocery stores, children being gunned down in schools, while the police cower in a hallway like the gutless cowards they are. But they want to put guns into the hands of teachers and have the teachers deal with this bullshit. And I can tell you right now, if you start arming white teachers, let's count how long it takes for until, until a black kid gets shot. But the GOP won't do anything because they are so deep into the NRA's pockets, they can't even see sunlight anymore. I mean, like, uh, who was it? Who was it? Shit, one of the politicians recently was going on about it. He was going, Utah guy. What the hell is his name? Sorry, my 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 naming brain cells apparently have died recently. Um, but he has taken $13 million of NRA money. Even though he's publicly said, we should do something. Well, yeah, maybe you first thing we should do is make sure that lobbying groups can't pay, can't bribe politicians. Publicly funded campaigns, flat, flat out. Anybody who could be able to donate all the money in the world they want to to one big pool and then an algorithm that gets to figure out who gets how much, depending on which, you know, which position is up for re-election. So everybody could donate as much money they want, no cap on it whatsoever, but it will be doled out to even, evenly to every single candidate in that tier. And suddenly nobody has any, any financial influence over politicians. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be keen if we didn't allow corporations and individuals to buy politicians like the way they slap logos on NASCAR vehicles? But no, we have congressmen who have taken, Congress people who have taken millions of dollars from the NRA. They have spent so hundreds of millions of dollars 
to make sure that the firearm laws are not changed in America. Hundreds of millions of dollars. So that elders can be gunned down in grocery stores. And worshipers can be gunned down in churches. And children can be gunned down in schools. While policemen cower in the hallway. That's the ugliest thing I've seen the GOP do in a while. That they are beholden to the NRA and they are willing to stand there in a pool of children's blood and hold their nose and keep their hand out for that sweet, sweet cash and ignore the pleas of the American people and the cries of the parents who will never see their children again. Because they are absolutely a moral and ethical lot. They are owned lock, stock, and barrel by their contributions. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the Democrats, folks. But I really despise the GOP.